There's a great tool called XPath Helper that you can run in Chrome that will allow you to uh, examine the path statement, the XPath statement. Um, here it is out in the Google Chrome Store. You can go out to your tools and go into tools, extensions, and then at the very bottom of your extensions you can say get more extensions and just do a search for xpath helper and you can see it right here xpath helper by Adam Sadowski so once you add that to your Chrome then you can go out to this uh, XML web page I have and I have it out at peterkjohnson.com in the SCC folder and the name of the file is cdcatalog.html and this is what it's going to look like this is just a plain uh, XML file that we added an HTML extension on so we can view it in the browser and if I right mouse click on this and inspect element then this will take you and show you show you the the elements and everything. So you can see I had uh, it, that Chrome automatically put a, an HTML a head and a body but what we're concerned about is a catalog class and all these. Now here's how you use your XML path. So select the web page do control shift X and it will come up with with the XPath query. Now to get a better handle on it, you want to look at the code, so right mouse click, inspect element. And if you click down here in the bottom, let me make this so you can see it, if you click down in the bottom, then, you're, then it'll set up a separate window like I have here. So I have my, my page here, and then I can look at my different elements. So here's my root catalog, here's my CDs. Don't worry about these other divs and stuff in this HTML head, just kind of ignore that. But we're going to look at catalog. Then I can go in here and I can say catalog. There's my root. There's my body. And then if I say catalog, this will show me my whole catalog. And you can see it's highlighted. If I want to go deeper, I can say CD, and it'll bring out each CD. If I want to go deeper, then I can say title. And you can see I'm slowly building up my X path. Or I could say artist. Or artist um, country. Oh, see, country isn't a sub-element, sub so I would have to say country. So here's how you can type in your, your, your XPath. Keep in mind that this first slash is for our HTML. The second slash takes us down into the body, and then we get into the actual XML file, CD, catalog, CD, country, and we work down. And you can see here we can use our attributes and build up. So this is a simple tool, easy to use. It only works with materials that are, are published out on the web uh, due to security purposes, for saving, protecting your local files. So I FTP'd this file out so you all could utilize this and get used to seeing how the XPath statements work.